Hey, Derek here at Castaway Studios. Today I'm going to put into effect uh, my new Elgato HD60S capture, external capture, and so the computer doesn't have a complete and utter hissy fit, I'm going to first install a PCIe 7-port USB 3 card into the thing. Uh, stick around to see how I went. Alright, so this is the current view of the M50. Let me just show you that M50. There it is there. Um, oops. So <laughs> the the M50 is currently sending the signal to the computer via USB only through the USB out. So it's a clean feed of USB using Sparko Cam. Uh, there is a bit of lag and I'd say some quality stuff and I'd much rather be using uh, HDMI. So in a minute I'm going to gut the computer, put the card in. Um, I'm using, I'm putting in uh, the Ortico USB 3.5 GBPS PCI Express card because it looks black and sexy and I think it, I think it's going to Put, take a lot of pressure off those four little ports in the back of my gaming PC that are being um, sort of split and reused all over the place. So look forward to that. Um, stick around to the end and I'll tell you a long, a long story about how trying to get a video camera into my PC escalated into a situation where I ended up with two full professional studios. I think it all started from that seed of just trying to get that to work and not giving up. So uh, hopefully after I've snapped my fingers, you will see the exact same view, but using the HDMI capture card from Elgato. All right, ready and Okay, I'm back, and this is where we're up to. We've got the seven-port USB 3 card in the back of the computer, which is great. It takes a lot of stress off the four ports that was being used for everything and a lot less messy around the desk because everything can go off and around the back. So that is great, uh, especially considering we now have the Canon running through there, the M50, um, and the PTZ Pro 2 from Logitech, the Brio and the 922 and, uh, and probably a few others to go that are in the drawer waiting in line. So this, what you can see now is the Canon M50 running into the USB port directly from the micro USB inside of the camera. Now, the positives using that uh, what I've discovered in the last half an hour is that it stops the display from switching off it's got using using a Sparco cam every 20 25 minutes it just renews like it, it simulates someone something being used on the camera to stop it shutting down in the middle of a stream which is what happens if you use this view which is doesn't look much different but it's quicker now if this looks out of sync it's because I've got my audio delayed to allow for the delay in this one so this should be about right okay this is the USB that's the HDMI using Elgato uh, capture card right so the biggest problem with the HDMI is uh, is not just the fact that it turns off using the M50 turns off every half an hour 
is also that you can't use autofocus without the square turning up in the middle of the screen. Okay, so with the M50, for this purpose, I will probably always use this view, which is the USB, which is slightly delayed. I've prepared something for you. Watch this. This is going to be pretty weird. All right, so that's half my head. Uh, this side is um, the USB through the Sparco cam, and it's slightly delayed. And this side is coming in pretty directly using HDMI. So I'm super stoked that I can come in and plug anything into this in the future in my studio and go straight in and be able to use it in OBS. But I will continue to use... Enough of this. This is too weird. Watch this. <laughs> right, so I've got this pre-delayed in this side. So sh this should be pretty tight. All right, so what else have I discovered on my journey that's probably about it i probably didn't well now that i know i didn't need to get this capture card to use the m50 and i'm probably going to have to just put up with the slight delay in the usb connection because i don't want i want to be able to use autofocus it's not i'm not using it now obviously uh, because look if you look here there's nothing there that this is hdmi but um, I like the Spark. I like to be able to open up Sparko Cam and and set up the color, warmth, and all that sort of thing, and exposure, and sort of match it up with my other camera, or whatever other cameras I'm using at the time. So that's kind of handy. I quite I, I quite like it. So I will use that, and um, and it does give me a whole nother using the Elgato. I've got a whole nother opportunity for someone to bring in if if someone if a client of mine brings in their fancy pants uh dslr camera we can plug it straight as long as it's got clean hdmi out we can plug it straight in and they can uh, and we can give them uh, a full obs kind of live stream experience from here so i'm super stoked i got that set up especially now i've got all the usb inputs set up at the same time all right, so that's it. That's today's today's upgrade. It's a great learning curve, this one. I'm loving it.